Hopping into the next part of Pangkor and Ipoh trip, we left the jetty and paid a hefty parking rate at Marina Jetty. 1 day 23, 2 days 46. We left early because we were excited to meet the biggest croissant we've ever seen. So here's the place, Chloe and Co. And remember to pre-order your croissant before your visit. Apart from the giant croissant, they also sell stuffed toys and plenty of pastries. We were all shocked when the croissant arrived because it was absolutely big. It's huge and at one point I even thought I could not finish it. But then I remembered I paid a lot for this experience so nothing went to waste. Then we visited this cute called Duck coffee shop. Everything in the shop resembles a duck from Co posters, pictures, logo, stuffed toys and even tissue box. Even their foods have dark features. Once we are ready, we were led into another room where the real ducks are held. You can come see real ducks and take photos with them. The room was quite small so you can imagine if there's a crowd. Fortunately, we went on a weekday. The place didn't feel ideal for the ducks so we played a while, took some photos and left quickly. Hope the ducks do not feel too stressed with humans and especially children. We were surprised when we just realized our stay was right opposite the croissant shop. The interior of the hotel gives out a unique experience with their tribal vibe artwork. Our room was pretty small but it does cover all the needs and we enjoyed the ambience. Best of all was the balcony. It's always nice to have a little personal outdoor space. Overall, not the best security but nothing happened during the night. So 8 out of 10, will recommend. For dinner, our friend recommend us to try their local favourite Takki for their Fukin Min and Siu Yuk. The night was a little different because it was raining. Could be my KL taste buds but I wouldn't say it's the best. But we are fully content with the meal. We'll definitely come again to feel a little Chinese. In KL, nothing sleep. But here, it's only 9pm and the only shop left that was still open is the People's Park Changjiang White Coffee. The shop gives a vintage feel with its antique decorations. Also, the coffee, you can pour it into the jug by yourself. Taste-wise was not disappointing and we enjoyed ourselves here on the final night of the trip to wind down all the excitement. Following morning was another local favourite Sin Yung Long Kopitiam. But this time there were so many people that we even had to share table with other visitors. You also need to order quick because if you hesitate or are indecisive, they would just walk away. Foods here are amazing which explains the crowd. So do come and drop by when you have the time. On our way back to the hotel, we stumbled upon a unique mysterious shop. And being the curious cat that we are, we went in to explore. However, we didn't manage to order their mains because we just had breakfast. But their interior is really unique. Also, their back alley caught me by surprise with their decoration of beautiful ribbons and tree vines hanging down from the sky. Also, there are kittens here where the shop owner gave them temporary home. After checking out, it was lunchtime at the famous Chung Ki Pokok Besar Yong Tau Fu. This one is memang like the food court style and we love it. We ordered quite a lot during lunch. So 16 Yong Tau Fu items plus Lo Shi Fan and Ho Van Kondo came up to 21 ringgit. Super worth it but it is very hard to find parking. The mountain very funny. <laughs> we are here for their Tau Fu Fa. So this funny mountain has no table, you have to sit on a chair. So if there's one place that you want to try Tofu Fa, this is the place. It is really, really good. Uh, so some of us, we like Hak Tong, Wong Tong. But here, there's only one Tong, uh, which means one type of sugar. <laughs> so our last and final destination, we are here at Lata Kinjang, which is really amazing. So you must come here. If you're from Ipoh, going back to KL, pass by this place. Even if you're from KL, come over here to witness this very beautiful waterfall uh, but if you're looking for like a real hike this is not the one this is just like a steps coming up here so I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you want to come to Ipoh or going to Panko, you can always refer to this video as well. So if you do like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching my Escape. It is your turn to find yours. Bye!